Hi guys, uh, Jess from it. Um, basically, I'm doing you a nice short video. Um, basically, it's an update on the trend and bias video that we already have, but um, you know, there's been a couple of changes to the chart layout, and uh, you know, I think it's time I updated it. All right. So first things first, guys. Uh, something you need to do every single day it's preparation and you need to do this every day and this is on Windows 7 I'm not sure how to do it on Windows 10 and I certainly don't know how to use a Mac so you, you know you'll have to Google it find out that way okay so basically what we're doing is um, we're getting our clock as close to MT's clock as possible okay and you just uh, run through the procedure I've just done there successfully synchronized and you'll see here you know it's a couple of seconds ahead of MTs here which is okay it's okay if you're in front of a couple of seconds you're alright okay I generally within one or two seconds of MTs clock that's my clock that's MTs clock all right right well let's get to it then right how do we judge um, the trend on any currency pair right well the, the way I do it and uh, this is very successful uh, is by using the one and four hour charts okay you're looking for the direction of the orange line in comparison to the yellow line and you can see the yellow line there below the orange line and you can also see that the orange line is going up and this is the one hour chart you look on the four hour chart next to it yeah the orange line is going up the yellow line is possibly down here somewhere um, again that, that's signifying uh, an uptrend okay Right, so effectively what you're looking for then is signals on your 5 minute and 50 minute chart to the upside alright let's have a look on the EU now then the EU is the same it's an uptrend as you can see on the 1 hour the orange line is going up it's above the yellow line the orange line on the 4 hours going up it's above the yellow line however what we do have here now is an against the trend bias right? the bias is basically which direction you think you know the movie is going to go um, and as you can see here, you have a, a red pink uh, on the four current current four hour candle, very strong. Okay, you've got a red pink yellow, I think, behind the bubble there. Uh, be yeah, behind the bubble, um, and, and that correlation there is a good against the trend bias. Now you'll see from time to time um, that empty will say. Uh, give, when he gives his own bias, he will say that you know you can go up and down, and he's right in that respect. When you have uh, you know an uptrend there you can take the signals to the upside with the trend if this bias changes so for me if this you know four hour disappeared then I would be looking to take the trending signals which are up okay but while that's in there you can take you, you can trade against the trend I would have traded against the trend there and I'm pretty sure that I did take this this uh, red pink here okay um, now how long does this go on for well nobody knows that the risk of going against the trend is that if the trend reasserts itself and you're stuck in a trade to you know against the trend then you could get hurt um basically what i tend to do with these signals this uh against the trend bias is perhaps take one maybe two trades and then stop and wait for uh you know trending the, the trend to reassert itself okay um, again let's have a look at the UJ now we've got a downtrend here as you can see below the yellow line the orange line is below but look at the shape it's coming up it's coming up okay same on the four hour you're below it's a downtrend but again it's coming up the, the, the orange line has turned up and what has created this is the fact that you have a daily on the current uh, candle you have um, that blue and uh, red pink um, um, collection of arrows here which is basically you know forcing the move up in correlation with the daily and you also have the one hour here so effectively right you don't go against that that's it if this doesn't change this setup doesn't change you don't get a four hour down or a one hour down and, and this stays the same then you should be taking the trades in that direction it's pretty much a trend um, making setup that because you know we trade two and a half hours and if you've got a daily pink like that and that's going to tell you which way you're going all right um, as you can see here 15 minutes yeah it's going up uh, orange line is above and again there uh, look at that no oh, wonderful move okay uh, now then 
um, when, when do you not trade a pair right well okay let's look at the UK for that you can see clearly this is messy look at the wicks when you get candles with big wicks like this you know and, and there's no direction on the four hour it's completely flat in my opinion you shouldn't be trading that you know if you want to trade it that's up to you but I, I, there's no direction there there's nothing telling you which way it's going to go apart from maybe the five and fifteen minute correlation but you know for the, the amount of money I trade um, it's just not worth the risk so I wouldn't have traded that the UCAD and you can you can tell look at the fifteen minutes here right you've got a red pink at one end of the candle you've got a blue at the other end and look at the wicks you know how can, how can you say oh that's going to go up when you get that and then it, it shoots right back down on you you know you, you panic stations isn't it okay so that's basically just one chart showing you on there let's have a look at another day again if you you look at the time i am one second in fact no i'm i'm, I'm the same as mt's clock there um let's have a look at the trends again look at this i know it's showing the downtrend because the orange line is below but look at the direction of the orange line it's going to cross it's going to cross the four hour has um, your uh, actual price is now above the yellow line and it's above the orange line as well the same here you know it's going above the yellow line so you can consider this again um, the start of an uptrend plus you have a daily up um, probable weekly up there as well so I mean you're looking at a 4 nil there and well look you know safer trades were up to the upside what pinks there even the red pair were at pan down okay look at the EU again the EU is the same up until it getting this one hour um, correlating set of signals here right but again look daily pink on the current candle four hour two candles back this here was like four hours worth of um, upside you know and if you look at the 15 minute again you're up on the 15 minute risky to take that uh, it did pan out but risky um, and again pinks up we're winners okay UJ downtrend your orange line is below the yellow line and it's pointing down on the one hour you've got this selection of um, correlation of signals here blue and a, a red I think it is on the purple line there um, again on the four hour downtrend in massive downtrend uh, weekly mem yeah definitely down daily a couple of days back definite downtrend and as you can see there 15 minutes gone down five minutes yes they're not pinks but and there are some wicks but you know it's still gone down okay uh ucad um i know you've got a weekly and i know you've got a daily a few days back here but it is effectively a downtrend on both of those charts um and if you look at this red pink yellow here on the four hour correlate that with these one hours here um, this is turning back to the downtrend okay and uh, the safer trades again were to the downside as you can see there it's come down here it's probably started up here somewhere and come down there you go yes there was a winner to the upside did you take it it's up to you I'm not and I've taken the down because of this okay right quickly again on to another one uh, yes here, here we have a uh, something I need to, to to try and explain to you right, this is we'll start with the GE downtrend yes four hour downtrend okay the uh, daily and the weekly are still up trending but um, you know we are session traders so scalpers so you consider this a downtrend what you do have here though is one and four hour correlating pair of signals and you can see it's pushed it up here um, it would have uh, correlated with this here and basically when MT gives his own um, bias at the beginning of the session he says oh up and down right uh, he's right look at the 15 minutes look at this is the kind of setup that I would say yeah up and down while this uh, one hour and four hours signals stay there against the trend then you could take it up look but then when they disappear that happens and then they appeared again and that happened okay entirely up to you um, when MT gives this kind of bias I just stick to the trend so I would ignore these up 
signals here and um, un un unless they turned you know pink reds pink reds that turns um, into a pink red there and this was you know maybe get some red in it or uh, you know goes red yellow pink then I'm all over it all right you can see there look at that down again you're risking it to the upside but it's up to you you take it okay uh, EU as you can see there it's a red yellow pink there on the one hour correlated with the four hour um, the trend is down again because you can see the orange line is going down but those signals did work they're there, they're there, it's there but again look it's flat on the 15 minutes that's created by you know this against the trend bias um, if you look at the, the down signals with the trend winner, winner yeah you could call that a winner, that red's a winner as well um, the ones with the one and four hour correlation maybe maybe not this pink here looks like it's failing but again with failing signals sometimes they you know they, they're just a setup for the next signal set which will win and it did win there uh, that one won there again it's entirely up to you whether you go against the trend on this okay quickly moving on UJ um, downtrend you've got a one hour red pink four hour downtrend it's crossed over there price action is way below the yellow line it's a downtrend you also have a daily down and a weekly mim down i mean that is a trend maker guys and well you know after this move up here look what happened red yellow pink there uh massive move and five minute signals here all winners to the downside okay UCAD is an interesting one. We this is effectively a downtrend, but because you know you've crossed over it, the orange line has crossed the yellow line here, and you've got a four nil setup here. Right, that's a trend maker. So this is one of them instances that don't happen very often where a, you know a trend has changed pretty much during the session. Okay, it's gone from a downtrend to an uptrend and well look at the 15 minutes here superb five minute there five minute there again risking it going against that that four nil setup you would have lost there you would have lost there um yeah and i think that's i think that's all i can do on the uh, just let me show you this right identify trend and bias trend is constant bias will almost certainly change during the session we'll have explained that Right, look for pinks. Best place to look for pinks is when price is near or touching the orange, purple or yellow lines. Pinks can start as red small small reds and change to pinks with momentum. Well let's have a quick look at that. Best place to look for pinks. Purple line. On the purple line there. On the purple line there. On the purple line there. On the purple line there on the orange line there on the purple line on the purple line even though it's against the trend there on the purple line on the orange line on the orange line on the orange line on the, you know you, you get where i'm coming from when you when you approach these lines this is when you should be looking um for pinks um and and, and movement basically because these are these purple lines in particular are um support and resistance you know at certain levels um what else was he on there let's have a look right yeah mum's the word guys momentum really is the key to entry when it flashes your color um enter your trade okay let's see if i can find i think there's one example of it here that is flashing okay and you can quite clearly see there it started to go up all right um yeah that's basically all i need to say on that uh trading the miners right never panic right trend usually always reasserts itself um markets are like the ocean the ebb and flow okay well, let's give you an example of that um there a perfect example here we're going up with the trend here it's gone up and then it's pulled back a bit and then it's gone up again it's pulled back a bit and then it's gone up again okay same on the eu it's gone up pull back a bit and then gone up again see it there it's gone up pull back a bit and then gone up again this is you know the, the the movement of the market the market moves this way 
same here on the um, new J look it's gone up then it went down then it pulled back a bit then it went down again it's pulled back a bit and it's probably going to go down again here now <coughs> excuse me okay um, I think I think that's pretty much about it I wanted to make the video as short as I can guys I don't, don't want to fill your head with you know too much uh, information and short videos you, you dive uh, uh, excuse me you take in more um, with shorter videos and you know anything along just one other point I will make is on these red yellows that BR has been going on about in the room um, they're nothing new guys they're nothing new it used to be the, these were here when I first came in the room um, they were a red pink yellow the only difference was that the yellow was a smaller arrow so you would see the red inside the yellow and the yellow inside the pink it would look like a little candle flame. I know the, you know um, some of the older members, um, Mercy in particular, Shacklin. Um, you know, will remember these Benny. Uh, will remember them, Bobby. You know, um, they, they they they're nothing new. The fact is, they've been there for forever, really, since I've been in. But what I tend to find with them is they go hard and fast. Okay, whenever you see one, you'll see big moves with it. There's one there on the five minute on the GU, hard and fast. Okay, let's see, if we can find another couple of examples there. Hard and fast. Okay, um, I know there's a belter somewhere. There you go on the 15 minute UJ. Look at that, hard and fast. Okay, and there, starts that move off. All right, guys. So that's about it. Um, just as I say, the most important thing. Um, basically is to learn how to read the trend uh, and bias and um, basically just just try and stick to trend trades if you want to be really successful in it okay guys